So in this Dragon's Dogma 2 video, I'm going to be showing you all some beneficial side quests that you may want to take on. Doing these will get you a pretty powerful weapon early, a lot of experience, and a good chunk of gold too. And you could do these at pretty much the very beginning of the game. And don't worry, if you've already surpassed this area, you can come back here and do these. Actually, that's what I did. But uh, yeah, what you want to do is head on over to the Border Watch Outpost. You can get over here quickly by taking the Vernworth North Ox Cart, and that will take you to Melv, which Melv is right by the Border Watch Outpost. From Melv, it's not that far of a trek. Over here, you will find a knight at the Border Watch Training Area, right here on the map, named Eli. You're just going to want to talk to him, and he'll tell you about Baron. Sometimes Baron will be here training them. If that's the case, just come here at a different time of day where Baron isn't located here. And yeah, he'll tell you about him and how he leaves the area and goes somewhere. And once you talk to him, you then want to go to Baron's tent, which that's located right here from the Border Watch Outpost. Now, I didn't find him during the day, but he may appear sometimes during the day. I found him actually at night over here, so keep that in mind. If he doesn't show up, you're probably going to have to come here at night. Anyways, once you get over here and talk to Baron, you will get a quest called Claw Them Into Shape. And it's actually pretty simple what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get some weapons and find a motivated soldier. Which, to find the motivated soldier, you're going to have to go over to Vernworth City, which is one of the first areas that you come across once again in the very beginning of the game. And the fast way to get over to Vernworth is just take the ox cart over at Mel. Anyways, once you get over to Vernworth City, we're now going to want to find a motivated soldier which this guy named Humphrey will come up to you once you are doing this quest. I actually found him right over here in the city. So yeah, just tell him about Burn. And now, what we're going to want to do is find some weapons, specifically some swords. So you can either, you know, find them from looting random chests, or you can just go purchase them from the vendor at Vernworth, the weapon vendor right here. Just purchase three of these swords. Once you got that, you now want to return to Baron at his tent, which once again, he only appeared for me at night. Maybe different for your circumstances. But uh, yeah, once you find him here at his tent location, over by the Border Watch Outpost, you then want to just, you know, give him the swords. So once you do that, you have now progress further in the quest. Just talk to him again, and this will lead you to a spar with him. Now, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. I accidentally lost by stepping out of the arena because <laughs> I was stepping away from him because I'm a, you know, sorcerer. <laughs> so, yeah, I lost. But either way, it doesn't matter. You'll still progress in the quest. So, yeah. Anyways, once you have done the spar with him, something out of nowhere will happen and you'll have to start following Baron and his soldier. They warn you about something that's taken place out in the woods. So yeah, just follow him and it'll lead you to an area where a wounded soldier is at and he mentions that he encountered a cyclops and how he barely got away from it. Now once you have done that, you then just want to wait. I just waited until it was night again and then I returned to his tent area. And yeah, this is where I encountered him at, at the Moon Glow Garden, which is right by his tent. And once you go here, a little cutscene will happen and a cyclops will appear out of nowhere here. So... Yeah, this is a pretty tough fight that'll happen, but nonetheless, you have a lot of help here. So, if you are a low level, you still should be able to do this. Just, you know, play cautiously, and over time, you will defeat the Cyclops. It doesn't seem like uh, Baron and his soldiers and whatnot can die. Going, are you? Be well, friend. Sir, the Cyclops is coming. Over here! I grind your weapon and magic food! Fine. We mustn't let it approach. Stand firm! 
our foe appears to have grown just as weary as we. Ah! We're not standing a chance against us now! Um, but yeah, once the fight is over with, you'll get quite a bit of XP for taking on the Cyclops. And be sure to loot the Cyclops as well, because it has valuable things that you can use to enhance things with. But uh, yeah, now this will progress you to the final part of Baron's quest. You'll unlock the quest called Baron's Final Lesson. So yeah, just go ahead and wait a day and then return back to the Moon Glow Garden, which is right by Baron's tent, and you will find him here. I actually found him during the day this time and once you go and talk to him here he will give you his giant sword that he uses which it's called the life taker and you'll get 4500 gold as well once again you can do this at pretty much the very beginning of the game so I definitely recommend to do this one it is an easy one that you can you know miss I'll be honest I did and then I came back here and ran across this quest but uh, yeah figured I'd share this with you guys here's the stats by the way on the life taker sword and it states a sturdy great sword fashioned of three distinct blade cores. Its heft lends each blow overwhelming power. Yeah, this may be a sword that you want to get your hands on or possibly let one of your pawns use it. It's definitely a powerful one to get. I mean, I know there are other ways to get this sword, but this is an easy way where you can get it. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video. Hope you all found this enjoyable. And if you did, consider leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.